Hey, hello people, welcome in my video. I am Mihai and today we're gonna do a unboxing slash first impression of the gaming mouse Deluxe M631. This mouse has two interchangeable side plates. You can either choose one with three or with nine side buttons. That makes in total of 14 customizable buttons. So yeah, let's see what this mouse has in store for us. So let's dive deeper in guys. <laughs> so guys, this is the front of the box. So we start with the unboxing. <laughs> so what's inside the box? We gotta peel it and we see some wires inside in the box. There's a circle in the middle where you can peel it. And then we get some, of course, a manual. You can read it yourself if you want to purchase it. But I don't know if it's English, we shall see later. Inside the box there are two interchangeable side plates. And of course a mouse. Hey, so there are actually three interchangeable side plates. One in pre-installed and two interchangeable side plates to add on to change the side plate. This is the first impression of the mouse, guys. Probably you can't see it well, so let's change the camera angle. So, people, inside the box there are three things actually. I thought there were three side plates, but it's actually three side plates. But one of them is an, on the right side. You can change a thicker or smaller one, depending what you want. And two side covers, one with nine, as you can see now. And one with three pre-installed. So one lower customization button and two side buttons. And of course, the mouse. They call it a lightweight mouse, but it's around 114 gram. So it's not that lightweight. And it also, if I can see it and put my hand on it, it's also quite huge in length. I will put all specifications in this video. So don't worry, guys. Let's see some other parts of the mouse. So this is the side, a quick free roam. Two side buttons and customization button underneath. And of course the front of the mouse, the logo. And an LED strip for lights possibly. Two customization buttons, two primary buttons, a scroll wheel and a scroll wheel click. And then this side, what's interchangeable with this other side. So this one is thicker or more small, smaller form factor, depending on what you want. And of course, a wired cable, it's not wireless. And then underneath, we have two big Teflons and one around the sensor. So, how to detach the side buttons? If you rotate it to the back, you see a peel over here. And you peel it off very easy. Then you can see... There are nine other buttons. Hey, so that's where the location of this side is coming into place. It also has nine buttons. Put it back on and it is magnetic and you hear a click and then possibly it's mounted well and you have nine customization buttons for like MOBA games or yeah, for example, World of Warcraft or any uh, massive multiplayer online rolling playing game, you can use this functionality. But then of course, if you hold the side, you always will feel a side button. So it's up to you if you want this one or the other one with the three buttons. Possibly I will use the three one. On the other side, you also, we can detach this side. So you rotate it again and you see another peel, small peel here. You can Put it off. We get the other cover, put it like this. Then it should be magnetic as well, or clickable. Yeah, now it's mounted and you have more like another finger rest and you can hold it like this. I personally don't like this kind of mouse style where you can rest another finger here. But yeah, it's all possible with this mouse. So now the cable, it's around 1.8 to two meters long. It has a cap around the USB. We put it off. And then we have a braided cable, guys, but not a soft cable. So keep that in mind, it's a braided one and quite sturdy. So keep that in mind, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but it's braided and quite stiff, actually. So keep that in mind, guys. But possibly if you tangle with it like a more nice circle, you can still use it, of course. It's not really bad, but it's like the older style of cables. More sturdy braided cable. Not extra floppy or soft cable and parachute ascended or anything. It's not that kind of style. More sturdy braided cable. Keep that in mind. 
So people, how does the mouse perform on click wise? So with this conf uh, setup, so on nine on the side, you have in total 14 buttons and they click on the side. Let's see if they are too loose or too hard to click or like uh, very tactile, we will find out. The sides, they have a nice click. But if you release the button, you hear like because it's glossy side buttons you feel it's glossy the buttons are glossy and when you release the button you hear like a sponge see but maybe they are stuck on your finger i don't know but these are the clicks guys you hear that spongy right but the clicks are nice, yeah, not too tactile, but yeah, firm click and they feel for clicking wise, it feels very well. But if you release it, you hear that spongy sometimes and that's quite annoying. So that are the side buttons. How are the primary clicks, guys? They feel totally different. They feel more, yeah, they feel very well, feel very good. The right sounding is a little bit different. The left click is a very clicking very well. Scroll wheel, yeah, I tested it two seconds ago and yeah, it has pattern on it, the scroll wheel, some uh, points and dots on it on the scroll wheel. And yeah, it has grip of course, but also when scrolling, it feels a little bit cheap to me. But if you click the middle click, it's a moderated hard click, so you don't accidentally middle click the middle mouse button. That's very great. The other DPI buttons, the DPI up and down, they're also different sounding, but they all click very well, these buttons. So, how does the lights look? If you put your hands like this, like in darker darker time of the day, like uh, maybe in the evening, you see the LED strip a little bit better, but without my hands, barely see it. So yeah, keep that in mind. In darker wise, you see it way better. But the X mark of the Deluxe has nice coloring, very bright. It's different than you guys see. You guys see like orange, but it's completely red. And the scroll wheel, is also reddish tone and uh, yeah the, the x marker and the scroll wheel look way better than this led strip maybe with the software maybe we have a more clear view of this led strip and possibly there's also rgb functionality in the software i hope the three side buttons the sounding of these one are like this that's also the sponging sound when releasing the button especially the front side button. When releasing the button, it feels cheap, but when pressing the button, it feels solid. So this is the size of the mouse. They call it a lightweight and they advertise on the website 114 gram. But if I put it on my skill with the three side buttons, the weight is around. 128 129 grams so people the end conclusion of the unboxing slash first impression am i impressed by this first impression of the mouse yeah so overall this is of course the mouse the mouse buttons on the sides click well but when releasing you heard that spongy sound when with this primary button if you press too hard in release you're also a little bit of spongy sound and when clicking hard you will hear a, li a little bit like a bouncing sound so keep that in mind also the sensor positioning is a little bit more not centered but a little bit more to the bottom the tevons are quite big on the bottom the cable is a 1.8 meter long cable it's braided but not so flexible I, I actually not at all that much flexible nowadays the cables on most mice are way better keep that in mind but overall they can improve the cable definitely a lot the scroll wheel has nice yeah you feel the steps okay-ish and the scroll wheel has some dents on it where you can feel also grip on the scroll wheel there's some rubber on it that feels well the middle click 
is not too light to press but also not too hard but it doesn't do accidental clicking when scrolling that's at least one good thing for me overall the coating is all quite smooth on the sides are a little bit more grippy but it has not much texture overall that is all fine to me in my opinion the three buttons on the sides are the best because yeah if you put the nine buttons on the sides there is no grip at all you need your finger or your thumb you need it on the buttons itself and in my opinion i find that a little bit awkward to hold all your preference but if you really need the buttons at least there is an option for it so it's optional you can choose between three or nine on the sides as i told you personally i like the three on the sides on the right side you have also two covers to change on one with this yeah what is it called a finger rest i personally don't like it but maybe if you have the nine buttons on the sides and this finger rest so you have barely no comfort in my opinion but it's all up to you your own preference in my opinion i like the flat design on the side and the three for the side buttons but overall yeah the mouse is quite large i put the dimensions already in the video but it's quite large is it good for a small hand let's see of course the buttons will still work if you have small hands you can click from the top to around the middle or a little bit below actually and that's fine yeah it can work for small hands but keep in mind the, the mouse model is a very large and big overall should i rebuy this mouse i didn't test it in any game yet of course this was the unboxing also my first impression actually that's real so i don't know how it performs in the game yet but for my uh, for example i play dota and valorant as the games i play and i will put the three on the sides and no finger rest on that side and then it will work i also have quite large hands so um, for me this mouse should be fine so yeah guys oh thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it maybe consider a thumb up a subscription or subscribe it is all free and yeah thanks for watching guys and i hope i see you in the future bye 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 thanks for watching